This is Electron Man. I uh, just got my newest uh, quadcopter built. I was going to do a build video, but uh, I got to building it and kind of forgot to get the camera out and do any of the recording of the build. But uh, basically, I got this uh, as I believe it was a Christmas gift. Uh, it's from Nitro Planes, but it was their uh, Dynam uh, 650 quad. It's the biggest quad in my arsenal now. Um, it uh, basically it was a it was a bare bones. It came with the frame, with the motors, and the speed controllers. It was set up in an X format, but I didn't like. I mean, in a plus format, as far as it was set up to fly like that. As far as a plus format, I, I didn't. I like to fly mine in an X. So I ended up moving the uh, speed controllers to stack them on top of each other, and then mounted the board. Uh, vertical instead of it was a uh, it was mounted vertical on the plus plane um, the motors are what are they detrums detrums uh, kv 700s 2812 kv 700s uh, speed controllers I believe are 30 amp um, I can't see what the, the name of them is um, pretty simple I'm I've got a 2650 uh, sky lipo on it and uh, first time I built it or first time I messed with it I put a CCD3 flight controller on it and I could never get it to to level out or it just it, it just it flew terribly so uh so I just got in a, a, a NASA light controller which has been upgraded to a NASA 2 or NASA M2, I think that's what they call the version 2, and uh, and I got it mounted on there, so I thought I'd do a little flight review of it. It uh, I hope for it to be a pretty good good flyer. Uh, I know NASA's are supposed to be the top of the line controllers, and this is a 650. I'm planning on making it like a big FPV uh, kind of video platform. It should be able to carry quite a bit of weight. I mean, it's got got uh, those are I think those are 11 11 5 props uh, the props that came with it were really cheap real floppy and I'm thinking that might have been part of the problem with the CCD 3 controller so I went ahead and found some eBay carbon fiber props uh, I think the stock ones were 12 4.7 so I went to an 11 I think it's an 11 5 is what it is but uh, hopefully that'll help too. Uh, I know usually carbon fiber props will make it a lot more stable. Um, anyway, I'm gonna plug her up and give her a first flight here in a minute and do a little recording of that first flight and see how it does. I uh, didn't get into recording. There's so many videos on how to set up a NASA, which by the way, with their software is really easy. I'm running pretty much stock settings suggested for a 650 size quad. I think, uh, I think my gains are set at like a 160 and uh, 130 or 150 and 120 actually I think it's 150 and 120 uh, 150 on the elevator in the yaw and then like a, I think it's 120 on the altitude and then it's 150 on on the other section people that know the nozzles know what I'm talking about uh, if anybody has any questions I could I could hook it up to the computer show what my stock settings are but this is just stock I'll probably have to do some tweaking on it but uh basically it's a uh, it's a starting point. Hopefully, it'll it'll do pretty good. Obviously, it's a GPS, so it's going to have a heading lock. I really like the way the nozzle did on their uh, on their antenna setup. As far as you can loosen the screw right here and for transportation, you can just fold it over, which I think that's really cool. I like their their GPS antenna mount. I think that's a great idea. Anyway. Uh, I'm running a AR610 Spectrum receiver, and uh, I've got it set up to fly. This is your flight. I'll probably put some lights on it later. Right now, I'm just kind of, like I said, I just built, I just got the NASA controller on. I just thought, since I got the NASA controller on, I'm going to be ready to go out and give a little flight, kind of give a first flight review of this 650 quad with the NASA flight controller on it. Okay, let's go ahead and get this out here a little ways and 
plug it up and see how it does for for basically out of the box settings for the Dynam 650 quad which is definitely the biggest one I got by far okay we got Do we have GPS locks? The question. I would say we definitely have GPS lock. Well, it's stable. Yeah, we're doing waypoint too. Well, I'm liking so far. Hopefully I'm capturing this on video. Oh, that lock is nice. It wasn't as a... Let's see how she... Well, that's a big one, isn't it? Pretty good punch. Of course, I'm flying this out in my front yard right now, so I don't have a lot of. Let's try the lock again. Wow. Okay, Naza. You got me so I cannot get the CCD3 to even come close to doing anything like that. Well, it doesn't have GPS, but I couldn't even get it to be stable. And that's super stable. Look at that. I'm turning the auto level. That's awesome. Yeah, a little bit of wobble on descent. Probably just prop watch. Not that unusual. Not back. Nice. Nice, nice. I'm not used to flying this bigger one, but this has got pretty good response. Kind of surprised. I can throw it around pretty good. I bet you this thing a haul.
I'm impressed. Look at the lock. Yeah. There you go, get you a nice closer for that. Well, it's quiet. get the FPV camera hooked up do a little recording of that a little hype going on here hopefully you're getting that wow look at that lock we got about a six or seven mile an hour wind going I mean that sucker's locked Okay, that's first flight. I don't want to get too carried away here. Looks like I could, I mean, give me feedback on it. Looks like on downward, I get a little bit of wobble. I'm trying to think what I need to, I don't know, I want to mess with those settings. Man, those are pretty rock solid. Oh, low ladder, one. First one, there's actually two, the second one. It'll uh, it'll actually auto land it. Not bad, not bad for the first flight.